Section 5.1, number 13, we're going to prove the fourth power of psi a minus the fourth power of cosine a equals one minus two times the second power of the cosine a, starting from the left-hand side expression with the psi to the fourth of the a minus cosine to the fourth of the a. With the given term, psi square a plus the missing part multiplied by psi square of the a minus the cosine square of the a. For the first part here, we can use the, the property that the quantity, for example, the x squared minus y squared is the same as x minus y times x plus y. In this case, if we have x to the fourth, that means we have x squared squared minus y squared squared. So then we can have x squared minus y squared multiplied by x squared plus y squared as we use for the first step. That means the missing part here gonna be cosine square of the A. And after that, we are going to go to the next step. The next step provided the missing part here multiplied by psi square a minus cosine square a. As you see the last part here, they are the same as the expression of psi square a minus cosine square a, like no chain. So what the chain would be the sum of the square of the psi a and cosine, the square of the cosine a. We call the Pythagorean identity psi square a plus cosine square a equals one. So that what we're gonna use to place into the missing part here. So the value one is missing. And as you see, you have one multiplied by anything. The next step, that would be the same as psi square A minus cosine square A. And then the last part of the problem, will ask you to fill in the blank. If we have one minus something that is missing, and then subtracted by cosine square A. As you see from the flow of the problem, the cosine square A carry to the next step. That means the expression one minus missing part here must be equivalent to size square of the A. Back to the Pythagorean identity that we listed earlier. What is the size square of the A in terms of cosine square of the A? is the same as one minus cosine square A. That's what we're gonna replace in the missing part here. That means size square A is equivalent to one minus cosine square A. So then we have the cosine square A to put in the missing spot. As you see, if you expand it out or ex um, get rid of the grouping symbol, we will have one minus cosine square A minus cosine square A. You have two light terms, negative cosine square minus cosine square. That is the same as negative two of cosine square of the A as the result or as the expression on the right-hand side of the identity.